By the end of the previous section of this tutorial, we had taken this shot of a car driving down a road and changed it into this here, where we have a texture for the car that is on a moving object that's moving in 3D in front of another textured plane which contains a composite backdrop that was extracted from the entire duration of the shot. So in this section of the tutorial, we're going to do a little more cleanup on it and then show what it looks like to export it to After Effects. So let's go back to the kind of through the lens view here within the perspective window. And here you're just seeing the car texture driving down the backdrop texture. If I switch to the wireframe mode, and I'm just hitting the backslash key on the keyboard, you'll see here is the original shot because we're, we're just seeing the uh, two planes as wireframe meshes. And so the first thing that we're going to do to this is go over into Photoshop where I took that texture for the car and just did a little paint job on it to uh, take out the background and be able to do a little shadowing effect underneath the car. So having done that, we're going to just select that texture again, uh, the car's texture, and instead of telling it we want to create a texture, um, we're going to go and open it up. I just point out the reason I turned that create texture off is just in case we do happen to hit this run all button later, we won't go and write over the uh, painted texture that we've carefully generated. So now back in the viewport, you'll see here's our car. And in fact, now we have a nice sort of backdrop to it instead. We don't have that big whole backdrop. Now one thing you do notice, this one particular spot there where the tracker went in front of that sign, and we never cleaned up the tracking on that. It looks a little dumb. So how about what we'll do is we'll go over and in the graph editor, we'll just clean that up. So here, that object isn't actually solved at all. It's just had its seed pass set up by the script that we ran in the earlier part of the tutorial. So what we want to do is we want to look around for the bad frame. And if you see, in fact, there it is. Right here, there's a little bump in the Z. And we could you know, crank this up a bit to make it <laughs> a bit more obvious. Um, so what uh, what we'll do, we'll just uh, right click to zoom in a little bit. We'll select these keys and take them out. So now what, when we do that, you'll see that there's just a spline interpolation instead. And if we go back to the perspective view, the uh, car now moves along smoothly. We want to actually, well, we'll just deselect it. So there's a more uh, useful result. And we're ready to go and export to After Effects. So we'll fire that up. Export to After Effects using the JavaScript exporter. We'll select our file. And we'll just use the default settings here. Those are described in the manual, by the way. Now we're ready to go over to After Effects. We'll just go and take our script and let that run. And now we have a composite that we can look at. And here's our same fake scene again. You notice the wheels of the car don't actually spin, for example. And in fact, down at the bottom of this composite, there's the uh, original shot. So I can just hide the original shot. And you'll see that we're still seeing exactly the same image. Because in fact, what we're looking at are just those two textures. So here's a uh, set of different views. As I scrub through this, you can see uh, here's the plane moving. Here's the front view, top view, and you can see things moving around. So I could go and add additional things into the scene. This, this up here is our backdrop. This is the car texture. And uh, 
you know, we could get, then go and start messing around with this thing within After Effects. The big box you see here is actually the layer that represents the moving object. So that's it here. So whenever you have a moving object, the other trackers will be parented to that moving object, though there is an option to turn that off, in fact. But uh, that's what we're looking at here. So uh, hopefully that gives you some ideas of how this all can, can run, and now you can go and have some fun with it. I'm sure there'll be some really interesting things to look at. Thanks.